Welcome back to part two, guys. So let's continue where we left off. Sniffing can be one of the sneakiest hacking techniques out there, but with a few precautions, you can keep your communications out of unwanted hands. Keep sniffers off your devices with cybersecurity protection. Hackers will use viruses, trojans, and worms to deliver a sniffer to a target computer. And strong security software with anti-malware protection will counter these attacks. Windows and Mac OS already come pre-installed with a basic antivirus software that should get the job done in most situations. For Windows, it's Windows Defender, and for Mac, it's X-Protect. However, keep in mind that you still need to practice safety habits online, meaning be wary of suspicious downloads, don't download suspicious files online, since there are still zero-day exploit attacks that can bypass any antivirus protection. Zero-day is a broad term that describes recently discovered security vulnerabilities that hackers can use to, use, to attack systems. The term zero-day refers to the fact that the vendor or developer has only just learned of the flaw, which means they have zero days to fix it. A zero-day attack takes place when hackers exploit the flaw before developers have a chance to address it. Once you're all set up with your preferred security solution, it's time to start thinking about encryption. It's the best foil against sniffing because even if you do get sniffed, your encrypted data is useless to someone using a sniffer. With no way of cracking the encryption, the sniff data is useless. To illustrate, let's return once more to the creepy sniffer in the window of the house, which is a computer that sits along the road, a network. The sniffer is watching all the cars, packets, as they drive by and copying down the information of all the people inside each car, the data inside the packet. If you tint your car windows, encrypt your data, the weirdo watching from the window of the house can still observe your car passing by, but they can't see what's inside. The main, this is the main reason why unsecured Wi-Fi networks are so popular with sniffers. Without encryption, all the data is lying out in the open, begged to be sniffed. A VPN or a virtual private network encrypts all your online traffic. When you connect to the internet through a VPN, all your traffic passes through a securely encrypted tunnel, protected on all sides from eavesdroppers. So it can help to keep your data safe even on unsecured public Wi-Fi networks. VPNs can do a lot of other things for you too, such as allowing you to access geo-restricted content. But from a security standpoint, a VPN's encryption capabilities are its most valuable attribute. If you are curious about which provider to choose, then you can check many of our in-depth VPN reviews. Take a quick look at the URL of any website. See if it begins with HTTPS. Your browser might even be showing you a little padlock icon next to the URL. When you see the HTTPS, the S stands for secure. Websites using HTTPS are encrypted and your activity on those websites is protected while you're there. That padlock icon is just one of many indicators you can use to determine whether or not a website is safe. Conversely, websites with HTTPS instead of HTTPS, don't have the same degree of security. When you visit these sites, there's no guarantee that somebody won't be watching. If you have to head to a site without HTTPS protection, never enter any personal details, not even a login. It's important to note that HTTPS encryption only protects you at this specific website. For comprehensive online data encryption, use a VPN. Free Wi-Fi is a tempting offer, especially given how expensive some mobile data plans can be. But if you aren't protecting yourself behind a VPN, resist the urge to hop onto an unprotected Wi-Fi network. Anyone else connected to that hotspot can help themselves to your data. Think about how many people connect in an airport, in a mall, or even at a cafe. When you use unsecured public Wi-Fi, you're gambling on your, all your personal data on the chance that no one is sniffing at that time. Most common method of sniffing on public Wi-Fi is the man in the middle of the attack. A man in the middle attack occurs when the communication between two systems is intercepted by a third party, aka a man in the middle. 
This can happen in any form of online communication, such as email, web browsing, social media, etc. Just like unsecured Wi-Fi, unencrypted messages are easy bait for sniffers. Choose to chat with your friends and family via an app that encrypts messages for end-to-end -end protection. WhatsApp, Viber, Line, Telegram are several of the most well-known options. Chances are that you and your contacts are already using one of these. After all this talk about sniffers and how crafty they can be, you're probably eager to learn about countermeasures. As is with many things in life, checkups at the doctor, regular exercise, healthy eating, the best defense against sniffing is prevention. Using strong antivirus software along with VPN encryption will immunize you against the vast majority of sniffing attacks out there. As we've mentioned before, identifying the presence of a passive sniffer is not an easy task. Passive sniffers on Wi-Fi are essentially invisible, and so your best defense against those is encryption. If you're on a switch network, you'll be dealing with active sniffing, which does leave ripples in its wake. Network admins are trained to look for those signals, and they'll know how to respond accordingly. It's not always possible to, to detect a sniffer directly. However, if you suspect that you're hosting a sniffer, you can check for one of the following signs or all of the following signs. Unexplained processes. Many sniffers run on a computer's user level, meaning that the computer's user accounts like you will be able to see them working. If you want, you can also use a program called Process Explorer, which is better than the, which is a better alternative to the default task manager to find any unknown processes that might be active on your machine. Process Explorer can give you a lot more information and control over all the application processes and services that are running on your computer and also include all the features for the task manager has. Process Explorer can trace an application down to the last DLL file. It is using sudden reduction in storage. Some sniffers can hide themselves with a rootkit, but even these super stealthy sniffers need to put their data somewhere. An unexplained loss in storage space can indicate a sniffer on your machine. So we have reached the end for this series on network packet sniffers. Make sure to hit that bell for notifications so you never miss out any of our future content. Stay safe and secure and we'll catch you in the next one.